the domestic honeybee Apis mellifera also frequently spelled honeybee unknown scientifically as the European or Western honeybee is the most common of the nine species of honey producing bees it is native to Africa Europe and the Middle East according to the University of Arkansas divisions of agriculture what but humans have introduced domestic honeybees around the world and it's the only honeybee in the United States Honeybees are social insects. They live in large colonies that include a single adult queen bee and tens of thousands of female worker bees whose numbers change with the seasons. According to the US Food and Drug Administration, the queen bee is the only bee that lays eggs. Male honeybees called drones are only seen during the spring mating season and hatch from unfertilized eggs. The female worker bees, on the other hand, hatch from eggs that have been fertilized by drones. Beekeeping or apiculture is the human management of honey bee colonies. The practice dates come back to almost 9,000 years ago. According to a 2015 paper published in the journal Nature, modern beekeepers use human-made beehives that are typically boxes with rows of wooden frames that bees fill with wax honeycomb. The hives are designed to beekeepers access to collect honey and help maintain the nest. Why honeybees are important? Honeybees produce several products that are useful to people notably honey and beeswax they there is a saying among beekeepers with a bee you can use everything but the buzz said so Garing, a commercial beekeeper who owns and operates a honey business in kirkwood new york honeybees also provide a valuable service by pollinating flowers as they forge thus helping wildflower reproduce and helping farms yield more and better produce. Many common agricultural crops require pollination in order to bear fruit or improve the quality of the fruit. If you have beehives, you have better fruit. Gearing told life science. She first acquired honeybees to help her fruit trees in upstate New York. Honeybees have become an important supplement to native bee pollinators for many crops and is an, an essential to production of some such as almonds and avocados according to the National Honey Board. Today many of the largest commercial beekeepers move hives around the country to pollinate crops a service that many beekeepers major source of income gearing said. Experts stress and while honeybees are economically and ecologically important, there are around 20,000 other species of bees worldwide that are also pollinate plants. Some of these bees visit flowers that can only be visited by them, said Margaret, a pollinator, biologist and Virginia, tech in Blacksburg, Virginia. If you take that bee away, that flower will also disappear. For example, in a 2014 study published in the journal Scientific Reports, researchers describe how a species of solidary ground nesting bee native to Japan and co evolved with a term shaped flower. The bee's unusually long tongue has made it the most important pollinator species for that particular flower. Honeybees make honey. Some worker bees specialize as foragers and they travel relatively far distances, around 4 miles or 6.5 kilometers for their tiny body size in search of good food sources. Road pollinator specialist Joy Trainer in his article on the beekeeping from Bissaurs. Once a honeybee finds a patch of flowers or fruit orchard, the bee returns to the colony to recruit other workers to visit the site by performing a wiggle dance. The bee's wiggle dance is a symbolic language giving a distance and direction. 
Kavilian said the dance provides all the information and other bees needs to find the location. Honeybees gather nectar in their mouths which collects in the honey. Crop and internal organ also known as a honey stomach pollen accumulates on the bees hind legs in the pollen basket an intended area surrounded by hair. Back at the hive workers regurgitate the nectar and pass it among themselves in a chain of regurgitated nectar honey until enzymes in their stomach have broken down the nectar into simple sugar. The nectar then gets dehydrated to contain only 18 to 20 percent water, a process aided by the wrapping wing flapping of the honeybees according to an article in the conversation. Once the nectar has turned into honey and sufficiently dehydrated, the bees seal it in honeycomb chambers with a thin layer of bees wax, which the bees produce themselves. The honey can remain edible for hundreds of years because of its low moisture content and natural antibacterial properties. When nectar is in short supply, some honeybees steal food from other hives rather than the waste energy for foraging. Honeybees may be particularly defensive at these times called a robing season, said Elena Nino, a beekeeping researcher at the University of California in Davis. Honey is the main foodstuff of worker bees and colonies rely on stockpiles to survive the winter. When foraging, opportunities are slim. The other classes of have specialized diets. For example, worker and larvae eat more pollen, which has a higher protein content to help the physical development. Nino said, The practice of beekeeping. When a worker bee feels threatened, it may stick its venomous barbed stinger into the thread. This action is a last resort for the worker as the stinger is then ripped out of the bee, killing the bee in the process. To get around the bee's painful defense mechanism, beekeepers may send puffs of smoke into the hive and surrounding area, which interferes the bee's ability to det detect each other's alarm pheromones and stops them from stinging. Honeybee behavior varies among colonies. Nina said some honeybee colonies are rarely defensive, while others may be pos poised to attack at any time. For example, Africanized honeybees, a hybrid strain of honeybees from Africa and Europe, are considered especially defensive. African Africanized honeybees will respond faster in greater numbers and follow intruders for longer distances than European honeybees. Population of Africanized bees have spread northward through the Americas from Brazil after African honeybees were introduced there in the 1950s according to the Smithsonian Institute. Goering said that if one of her 50 hives is particularly hot or overly aggressive, she will kill the queen and replace her with a new one for the colony to support it in an effort to help the hive become more mellow. Queens are often allowed to mate with any wild drones in the area. Goering explained, because of the difficulty and expense of selective breeding or artificial insemination, honeybees products. People consume and use many products directly produced by honeybees, such as honey and beeswax, the high sugar content of honey makes it a desirable sweet treat for many people. And the flavor is unique. To the combination of flower the bees collect their nectar from, beeswax is made from the bees' glandular secretion that build the hexagonal cells that serve as brooding and storage hammers in the hive. The product also has multiple human uses and is included in items such as candles, current products, and soap.
there are many supposed medical uses of honey and other bee products such as propolis a sort of sealant that bees use to shore up holes in their nest and line the entrance to the hive and royal jelly another type of glandular secretion produced by nursery workers or bees responsible for taking care of bee bee bees Goring also received requests for bee brood or bee eggs larvae and pupae all of which are edible these products are often touted as new age or traditional medicine and are said to provide poorly defined general health benefits but despite the long history of beekeeping which predates western medical science the extent of many of these benefits and the possible explanation are not well understood as summarized in a 2017 review published in the journal threats to honey bees the main threats to the health of a honey bee hives are sometimes grouped <coughs> into what scientists call for uh, the four ps pets pathogens and poor nutrition some of the biggest problem facing honeybees in the us include varroa mites which are blood sucking parasites that transmit disease american fowl brood a bacterial infection that kills bee larva climate change and urbanization These pressure have made beekeeping more difficult and more expensive and have contributed to a major decline in the number of managed beehives in the United States from more than 5 million in the 1950s to about 2.5 million in recent years according to a 2010 article in the journal Epidology while there challenges to both commercial operation and backyard beekeepers honeybees are not in danger of extinction exposed to life signs instead thousands of native bee species which are also important pollinators for many wild and domestic plants but are often solitary and therefore poor candidate for commercial rearing are in more dire need of resources and protection Different species of bees have different roles as pollinators whether it is a specialized pollination that supports biodiversity or large scale agricultural crop pollination that feeds the world covillian saw for the reason she saw we need